Planet Earth's surface is 71% water, but only 1.2% of that is available for drinking, cleaning, and supporting industries, agricultural, and energy activities. And this critical but limited resource is facing greater challenges than ever before as a result of population growth, climate change, the spread of industry, as well as a lack of proper water management. When waters run dry, people can't get enough to drink, to wash or to feed crops, and so economic decline may occur. In addition, inadequate sanitation, which is a problem for around 2.4 billion people, can lead to deadly waterborne diseases. Globally, we have a uh, very serious uh, situation ongoing uh, with growing populations, uh, expanding economies, and of course, climate change. And this is putting a, a significant stress on our water resources, be they surface water, groundwater, lakes, rivers, aquifers, and so on. And we need to have a better sense of how we uh, manage our resources sustainably so that we have adequate water for our populations, for our environment today, but also uh, into the future. 50 years ago, the International Water Resources Association was organized by a group of uh, individuals who felt that there was a, a great need to bring people together to talk about these management e issues, the scarcity issues, and, and the need for a better understanding of how water fits into our society, into our environment. And so this organization was created as a platform to bring experts, to bring policymakers, to bring everyday people together so that they can talk about these critical issues and be able to share experiences and share new technologies, new ideas, new management uh, techniques. We are very concerned with access to water, with clean water, safe water for, for people, for populations, also for the environment. Fritis is a drinking water company in the Netherlands. We are delivering uh, drinking water to 5.8 million of uh, people. We are a groundwater uh, drinking water company. That brings uh, a few challenges. One, quality challenges. Two, uh, quantity challenges because of the long periods uh, of drought. And the third challenge is that we need to deliver more water uh, every time more and more, more than 10% over the last uh, six years. So we need new sources and new infrastructure. Uh, the fourth challenge is just to, to get a really a sustainable company. There are three types of uh, solutions uh, we are exploring and uh, implementing. One, it's an inv investment in our infrastructure. It's in extracting the water, new production facilities, and it's in our tr transportation system. Two, to uh, get closer connections with our uh, stakeholders and developing new concepts uh, to create a sustainable water system. And the third is uh, innovation and research. And that's about new technologies, uh, that's about uh, data management, and that's, that's about new concepts in working together and finding solutions together with uh, our stakeholders. We very much believe in sharing information, sharing insights, uh, sharing inspiration. Continuity, we are working on, on the cooperation with co companies and stakeholders in other countries. Uh, that's why we're, we're looking very much forward to strengthen that international cooperation. The International Water Resources Association is a professional membership association. We bring together professionals from various di disciplines related to water, uh, water management, water resources, the sciences and so on, and we give them a platform to exchange knowledge and share information, be it our flagship conference, the World Water Congress, which is held every two to three years, uh, or other regional events. We also have online conferences and webinars and, and other mechanisms where people can share and exchange uh, their, their latest research, their publications, and so on because the issues that might be important in Africa are going to be different than those that are critical uh, for folks in Asia. And it is important to be able to give them a platform and an opportunity to, to raise their unique concerns and, and be able to exchange what successes they've had and where they need assistance. The goal uh, for the uh, water community uh, worldwide is to achieve water security, uh, which means to to be able to bring sufficient quantity and quality uh, of water. How can we do? Mainly to combine 
technological uh, solutions and political will. The role of science uh, in water security is to bring knowledge and digital uh, and technological innovation on the way uh, to water security. One example, reused water. We uh, need more innovation progress to make reused water uh, a real global and local priority uh, with uh, concrete solutions. Water is politics, which means that uh, states, parliaments and local authority has to be strongly involved in the water issues. Secondly, hydro diplomacy is uh, very necessary uh, to organize the dialogue uh, in the international river basins to, to reach peace and development. We need now uh, very concrete solutions. That's what uh, people all over the world uh, are asking too. The challenges we face with water globally can be met, firstly, by all organizations, companies and stakeholders in the water industry working together. Secondly, we need innovation and technology to handle complex water systems and monitoring. So over the last 50 years, uh, water management has become more technical in the sense that we are using much more technology uh, to monitor our, our use of water, to test it, whether for water quality or for uh, flow direction, chemistry, and so on. Um, and we are learning how to improve that technology in such ways where we have incredible amounts of data. So there are new technology in the context of what, what's known as a smart water management, where we are putting monitoring devices, we are putting technology in the pipes, we're putting technology uh, at, at the waste streams, in the homes, and we're able to know exactly whether there are leaks, uh, where the, you know, how much water is being used for particular uses, whether it's agriculture or watering the lawn or flushing a toilet, and we're able to better uh, to become better stewards of these, these resources. We're able to minimize losses in the system and we're able to maximize the efficiency of, of our water use. There is not an infant supply of clean water. And there is also not enough awareness about the importance of water conservation. So digitalization gives us the technology to actually address both of these problems. When we talk about aging infrastructure, we're talking about pipes that are in the ground, we're talking about wells, pumps, and the ability to deliver water from its source to the end consumer. When we're talking about water conservation, we're talking about the ability for actually consumers to use water as wisely as possible. This can translate to things like taking shorter showers, watering their lawn less, being more attentive to leaks happening within their household. We bring a variety of technologies to the marketplace and we deliver them as complete solutions. This includes smart meters and advanced sensors, integrated networking technologies, advanced software, and comprehensive services for tying that whole solution together. We help instrument water networks and other types of networks around the world to bring information to the utility and to the end consumer. Next, we try to take this raw data and turn them into actionable insights. So not only do you have information, but you actually know what to go do with that data. How can digitalization actually solve real world problems? I guess I'll start off with by sharing an example of my own. So I had a toilet in my house that was running, not all the time, just intermittently. It seemed to me it would maybe come on a couple times an hour. And to be honest, I wasn't in a huge hurry to fix it. I had other things going on. But I finally got around to it, and one weekend I fixed the problem. And then I went and looked at my water bill, and I realized that single running toilet that I thought was only running a couple times an hour was actually responsible for half of the water usage within my household. And now as I think about digitalization and what that technology can do, if I had been given a real-time alert that explained to me what the problem was and what the impact was, I absolutely would have prioritized fixing that problem much, much more rapidly and I would have saved a huge amount of water. And I think all utilities would like to provide their customers with that sort of insight. Utilities would also like to have insight into where leaks are happening within their system and what can they do about it. Do they need to dig up the pipe and replace it? Do they, do they need to modify the pressure within their system? Do they need to look at other solutions? 
There's a utility in Brazil, and they're actually the largest private utility in the water space. And there, they're servicing a community um, that was experiencing approximately 47% water loss in terms of water that they were pumping that was not making its way to the end consumer. And this resulted not only in revenue loss for that community, which they could ill afford, but because the community was hilly, they were actually having problems maintaining pressure in delivering water to some of the consumers who lived up in the hills. So deploying our software technology and sensor technology, they were able to go identify and repair about 80% of the water losses, dramatically reducing the problem and improving the quality of life for all their consumers. Fundamentally, water is life. As an example of the sort of challenges we're facing, one need only look at Lake Mead, which is the lake behind Hoover Dam outside of Las Vegas, Nevada, as an example of what drought conditions in the United States can do to a local community resource and to threaten the availability of drinking water to that city, that major city within the United States. And this challenge is not unique. We're facing this sort of challenge all around the world. The networking and partnerships are critical because the challenges we face with water today are so immense that no one institution, government, public utility or NGO can solve it alone. And those challenges are in water scarcity. One out of three people on earth face severe water challenges today. Second one is about aging infrastructure and climate change is putting even more pressure on our infrastructure. As we've seen with the floods this year, summertime in Europe. And the third one is about affordability. We clean water and we lose about $40 billion worth of clean water through leakages in our networks and unauthorized use. Our vision at Xylem is to create a future where water is not an issue anymore. And sustainability is at the core in everything that we do in Xylem. We develop and deploy smart digital technologies to help our customers improve their energy use, reduce chemical consumption, improve resiliency of their network, and provide high quality and continuous water services to the communities that they serve. We need more action today uh, to solve water issues that humanity faces because water challenges are an immense impediment in development of humankind today. Recently, our teams in Xylem have partnered with a water public utility company in Germany and help them reduce their energy consumption in their water treatment plants by up to 30% using smart digital technologies. Um, it is time for the whole ecosystem to get together to take actions to address severe water challenges that we face. There is a, a strong play for private institutions and companies like Xylem with smart intelligence solutions. There is a strong play for NGOs, governments, local municipalities, academics, and as importantly, enlisting the youth to have a say on their future with water. We are now uh, trying to understand how we might want to use our scarce water resources in a way that's going to be sustainable today and into the future. From the moment you get up to the moment you go to bed, uh, you use water in every aspect of, of your life. This is such a critical issue that we all have to work on this together. We all have to come together to uh, solve our critical water issues at the local level, the regional, the national, and the international level.